And tonight, an inspirational story about an Edina teenager who is defying the odds. This really is something. The 15-year-old survived two separate life-threatening conditions. After doctors told his parents he probably wouldn't make it, Scott Wasserman's here with his remarkable story. Incredible. In January, doctors sent Morgan Yesness home to live out his final days. Children's provided him with their unique in-home hospice care so he wouldn't have to spend all of his time at the hospital. But to doctors' amazement, Morgan is still here and tonight telling his story of cheating death not once but twice. There you are. To understand the mindset of Morgan Yesness, a teen who loves his Xbox, friends, and sports, this is all you need to hear. When they told me I didn't have much time, I just, I guess, lived life, life to the fullest. At 15 years old, he certainly lived your typical teen life with a not so typical journey to get here. Morgan was born with a life threatening heart defect. Six operations later, he's defied doctors' expectations and survived. We're very optimistic and very positive and always felt like things would work out for us. Although his oxygen levels are much lower than typical kids, he never let it stop him from being one of the guys. He's never looked at life as uh, a burden or any limitations as something that should interfere with what he wants to do. He just keeps right on going and never loses faith that everything's going to be fine. But then that faith was challenged. I worry if we don't do anything. In January, doctors diagnosed Morgan with CML, a form of leukemia, extremely rare in children. Surprising. So I'm like, why out of all these people can't, is it happening to me? I've already almost lost my life once. Would you lean forward for me just a little bit? And doctors didn't expect a second miracle. Not given long to live, Morgan and his family went to Disney World on the Make-A-Wish Foundation. But then, something amazing happened. The first week, it was like, he's doing great. I'm like, all right, well, stay positive, and I did. Through that positive energy and a new drug to treat CML, Morgan is now in remission, and mom has the test to prove it. Every time I get them, I'm blown away because this wasn't supposed to happen. It's just unbelievable. So Dr. Yoav Messinger agrees, saying he's never seen such a positive and quick response to the drug from someone not expected to survive. How surprised are you that he is still here? I'm amazed. So why is Morgan here? Why is he yet again defying the odds? He's here to, as an inspiration to people that you don't give up. You have faith. You believe. It's your choice, your life. If you want to try, try. If you want to say, I'm done, I give up then go ahead. But I didn't want to, and I kept fighting, so there you go. So there you go. He's still here. While Morgan is doing remarkably well, doctors do say that he'll eventually need a bone marrow transplant. Without it, he won't survive. But again, he wasn't expected to be here today, and they now have time to get that transplant. Heidi oh Beck. Boy, oh boy, what a guy he yes, is, Scott. Guy. Uh, it seems though like this inspirational characteristic, the fight in him, has always been there like like a priceless gift that he's been given. You know, his mom tells me when he was six that positive energy rubbed off on an older gentleman. He was at the hospital. He was diagnosed for the second time with cancer. He said, I couldn't do it. After meeting Morgan, he said, you know what? If you can do it, so can I. Went through chemotherapy, and his mom said he survived because of it. Wow. Yes. Wow, and that was a long time ago, Absolutely, too. yeah. All right, Scott Wasserman. Thanks for the story. Something tells me he's not done fighting. Way to go, Morgan.